part of our program is called Poems of Hope. Um, I don't know how this is going to go because I don't think I've got any volume for this, so I may have to read the poem as it's playing. It's going to be played on a screen here. The first poem is called Morning Star, Evening Star. It's about, um, first of all, Morning Star is about Luthien and her and how she met Beren. And Evening Star is Arwen and her meeting Aragorn.
Corinthian, um, who I've mentioned in the first part of that poem, were the ancestors of both Aragorn and Arwen. They are both descended from Beren and Luthien. And Luthien's mother was a Maya. And Mayas were like angels, but she took human form and married an elven king. So Luthien had some magical powers within her from her mother. So if you go right down through the thousands of years to Aragorn and Arwen, Aragorn has the gift of healing hands. And that is a, is a gift from Luthien's mother, Melian, from thousands of years before. The next one, we're running out of time, so I'll just do one more. The next one is called A New Age of Freedom. It's about Aragorn. that you see in the movie, The Lord of the Rings, are very different to how it is in the book. Now, in the book, Aragorn, um, some of the Dúnedain come from the north and bring him a banner that was made by Arwen. He then ride, rides on his horse with Gimli, with Legolas, on, they're on horses too, and the Dúnedain. They all ride on horses through the paths of death. And there they, they get the help of the army of the dead, but it's done on horseback, not walking through caves and things. And then they go to the south of Gondor and defeat the Corsairs, who are the pirates, and then he frees the army of the dead. So in the book, the army of the dead does not come to the, the battle of Pal on the Palinor Fields in front of Minas Tirith, as in the movie. But all of the, all of the soldiers and all of the kingdoms of the south of Gondor all join with Aragorn and they come up the river on the ships and arrive on the field of Palinor at a time when the battle was hanging 50-50. And when the enemy saw his love made banner with the white tree on it that had been made by Arwen, they fled before.